you know, if you're a bail bondsman and you're supposed to be racist, you know, you know who are racist? The the people running the DC jail here. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. the, Kathleen Landerkin, the deputy warden that that has these people, and you know, she hates white people. She hates white men in particular. AOC doesn't. She's engaged to one. Yeah. So clearly she thinks you guys are okay. What? I mean, I don't know. That's that's what I heard. That was everybody's favorite bridge troll, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, saying, clearly, AOC thinks creepy, misogynistic white guys are okay. To her newest troll protege, Alex Stein, the guy who recently filmed himself catcalling AOC and calling her his favorite big booty Latina. Hey, I'm Leah Cover of Rebel HQ, and this is the video MTG is referring to. AOC, my favorite big booty Latina. I love you, AOC. You're my favorite. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. I love it. My favorite AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. Did that language offend you? Did you feel uncomfortable after watching that? I was offended by that pervy white guy, and I'm white. W-H-I-T. E. But to the point, AOC felt she was sexually harassed by Alex Stein, and she brought the incident to light on Twitter, saying, Here's a video he posted of the incident. I was actually walking over to deck him because if no one will protect us, then I'll do it myself, but I needed to catch a vote more than a case today. And she would be correct. The UN says that making sexual comments about a person's clothing, anatomy, and looks is one of the manifestations of sexual harassment. But in total conservative Twitter fashion, conservative Twitter had a field day with this saying hypocrite AOC deserved the harassment because Democrats call for harassment of Republicans all the time. And AOC in particular helped provoke violence with her language about decking Alex. Take a second look at the video Republicans. Aside from saying the lie that AOC kills babies, Alex Stein made no reference to anything policy related. 99% of that video was racially stereotyping and womanizing language. You know, the low-hanging fruit that is the bread and butter of the GOP culture war against the integrity of women. This incident is soft core to the GOP and an easy one-off in the context of 24-7 news media. MTG brought a sexist guy on her show and let him know AOC is okay with sexual harassment from white men because that dynamic falls more in line with what Hispanic women have been forced to accept as a vulnerable minority for years in this country. Remember, MTG believes women are inferior. I'm gonna tell you right now, what is a woman? This is an easy answer. We are a creation of God. We came from Adam's rib. God created us with his hands. We are, we may be the weaker sex, we are the weaker sex but we are our partner, our husband's wife. And women of color even more so, because she never understood a world without locker room talk. A world where personal integrity is earned and respect is a virtue. And disgusting people like Alex Stein, a YouTuber slash self-proclaimed professional troll, won't simply fade away because we are in the Trumpist age of social media. Sexism sells because it enrages and offends one party and entertains another, especially when the target of sexism is an attractive, young, outspoken, demanding minority politician who the GOP wants to shut up and make feel inferior. Alex Stein represents a recurring cancer in our society that resurfaced with the advent of Make America Great Again and a renewed yearning for the mid-century way of living with all its stereotypical roles intact. You know, the time when beauty was in the eye of the men, when men made all the executive decisions and represented their families with only their voice, the time when separate but equal was everyday practice, which placed women of color further down the totem pole. Even if MTG continues to degrade minority women and associate with pervy white guys, uh, have you met her BFF, Matt Gates? 
letting discriminatory and enabling comments to white men like clearly she thinks you guys are okay continue will only feed the beast so stand up to bullies like marjorie when and where you can so that maybe one day the narrative shifts to one of respect i'm new here at rebel hq so be sure to let me know if you like my videos subscribe to rebel hq for more great progressive content and remember our future rewards the bold